All right, today's video is on the Scorpion Swords Tactical Genunting. This one, pretty large handle on it. Forward curved blade. This is a single edge Genunting. Um, not exactly traditional. Um, normally they would have a back edge ranging from four to six inches on the back of it, but this is Scorpion Swords rendition of the Genunting. Let's take a look at some specs on this one, up close looks, and then we'll do some cut testing. Let's get to it. This tactical Genunting is a 19 inch blade. Like I said before, this is a single edge blade. You're gonna see this forward curve that is very um, specific to Genuntings. Genunting actually translates to half scissors. Um, some dialects, perhaps it'll say it's to chop, but it actually refers to half scissors. So when you have two Genuntings, you are guntinging or you are using a scissoring motion. So that's very familiar to those of you who are familiar with Filipino martial arts and really any double weapons actions that you're using end up being that scissoring or half scissor motion. We're looking at a 1095 spring steel for this blade. It has a coating on it to present, prevent rust and overall length on this is 27 and one half inches. It has a micarta handle that is pinned. So we have three pins on the handle. It is a full tang with an exposed tang and then a full grip here. This is a, supposed to be retention as well so that when you are moving with more bigger slashes with this, you are less likely to lose the blade. Some people debate that's also because when you're pulling it out and thrusting, that can definitely help. But as far as the basic mechanics of the blade go, that is primarily for retention of the grip. We have a pretty thick blade on this one. This blade is three and one sixteenth of an inch. So we're looking at a pretty thick blade running all the way through. The tang is exposed on the entire blade. And then, like I said before, the, uh, the handle is gonna be seven and one half inches. It's a pretty big handle, to be honest with you. You have about a finger distance away from the actual end of it. Usually that would uh, like slide right into there. So really, it would be like this, except the, the guard and the forefinger piece would be a little bit shorter. Um, it is a heavy blade as well. We're looking over two pounds for this one. This tactical Genunting from Scorpion Swords also comes with a leather sheath. So it has pins running through it, just tacks on each side. Keeping that together, it's very tightly put together. So I would definitely not speed draw this. So as you're sliding it out, slides out of the scabbard just fine and then when you're sliding that back in it's nice and tight these are all custom made so obviously the scabbard is going to be um, form fitted to each blade that they temper and the, every blade that they uh, put together this fits right onto a belt so this can be carried if you were to want to carry this i'm not saying to go hack trees with it but if you are using it for clearing brush and things like that it draws nicely so again the draw is pretty simple this is just a regular leather belt it's not like a, a fancy belt by any means um, you could get a sword hanger for it as well if you wanted to wear this underneath the hip which would be a cleaner draw especially coming out of the backhand side there and then sliding that back in fits very well it's not annoying by any means so when you're walking with it it just stays in place primarily vertical. If you'd like to have more of a diagonal carry, you're gonna have to get a sword frog and also rig that. Um, we have that at cultathena.com in the leather goods section if you wanted to add that. Regarding the handle as well, this is a black micarta. Um, it is referred to as a true full tang, meaning that you can just see that it's a single piece of steel with two pieces of micarta sandwiched through it. Overall, it is a hacking and slashing weapon, so you're gonna see larger cuts used with these. Even though it is a little bit over two pounds, you do still have the ability to go into the thrust as well. Those of you who like to play with more of a saber grip, you do have the option because of the length of the handle right at the guard. Your, four, uh, your thumb does actually rest there, so if you did wanna go into more specific manipulations with, with thrusting and turning the blade over, you have that option. Uh, let's take a look at some up close looks at this blade in the scabbard or not the scabbard. Let's take a look at what we got. This is the black micarta with the pins running through it, exposed tang around the entire handle. So basically it's just a piece of steel with 
micarta sandwiched around it, making it as they refer to as a true full tang. There's the leather scabbard with the tacks running up it. Very thin and form-fitted. Did a really good job on this scabbard. Got the scabbard, just propped it up really quick. There's the coating to present, prevent rust. Very pointy tip. This blade is pretty thick as well. All right, we're gonna look at the cut testing now. I do the cut testing before the video. That way I have stuff to talk about with it. Something that I do like about it is the edge. The edge on this one is very reliable. You can see how good pull on the finger when you touch it. This is something we would categorize as battle ready here at Cult of Athena, meaning that the blade, the edge is not hair shaving sharp, but it is a functional edge, which is what we categorize as battle ready. Um, something that I say that I would actually add to this one would be the traditional back edge, which would be about four to six inches from the tip, about six, four to six inches down. Um, that's also used for different types of whipping strikes and other back of the blade manipulations, things like Watiks that are used as well for a blade like this. But overall, very strong blade. Um, keep in mind when we're looking at a Ganinting, something of this, uh, this weight and also this blade shape, we're not gonna get the same amount of slices that we get with the Katana. The edge geometry is different and the all overall use is different. Remember, this used to be a farming tool that has been um, adjusted into being more of a combat weapon. So let's take a look at the cut testing. Let's see how it did. Right, so there you have it for the Scorpion Swords Tactical Ganunting. This one with the true full tang, black micarta handle, overall very durable blade if you're looking at something that's more of a chopping and hacking style of weapon. If you want to buy this blade, click the link below. Check out our options on Scorpion Swords at cultofathena.com. As always, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.